What's up everybody, once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and I got a snippet. I had a good talk with TJ Chapman, he's the manager for B.O.B., it's Trap Beckham, and he's done a lot of great things, but this particular snippet right here is about his content strategy when he releases music. And I think it's something useful for a lot of artists to think about. Again, with the social media, it's all about content. And um, back in the day, I could just post one, 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 one video or one whatever, and, and, and people, it would stick with people. But nowadays, I can't. So if I'm releasing a single, I'm trying to figure out a way that I can have at least three weeks of content built up so every day I can keep dropping something with that record so they keep hearing it. And so that's content that I create. So now I'm jumping back to the, uh, uh, the challenges. The challenges are content with your music or whatever your product is. These are, this is content generated by fans and users. Mm -hmm. This is content that you don't have to create. It's created for free. Mm -hmm. And so they're posting it on their stuff uh, uh, or, or if they're using a, 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 an app like Triller, which is great for challenges. It's man. Well, Triller, you Triller, app, you. Triller, like T-R-I-L-L-E-R? Yeah, and you see all these people make videos with Triller. Okay. Man, the Triller, man, man, shout out, Triller, man, I love y'all. <laughs> um, you know, like just say the new single we did, um, and, and we got the challenge going. But on Triller, it's the feature challenge. Um, I think it's 900 plus videos. I need to look again. It might even be more now. Wow. Um, but wow. it, it was a few million views. It was 3.4 million views of the challenge videos hmm. so there's 3.4 million times that people heard the song whether they was trying to hear the song or not and so all these things are helping you get people you know what i'm saying um familiar so the challenges um you just repost their content you know what i'm saying so now you're showing love to the fans and, and so they loving you because you post and they stuff so when you post they, they're gonna repost it again in their stories at least um, but this is all content now that you have every day from other people that you can just post at your own song. Boom, 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 boom. And so it, it's, it's, it's just sticking, you know? So, okay. So now we hop from that side. Are you about to say something? No. Yeah. I was just saying dope because what, what one thing I hear constantly from you is really I break it down into active and passive listening. Like that active, like they're going to the song or the videos, the content might focus on the music, but then still hearing it subliminally in all these other ways too. So it sticks. Like and I and I know it works because I remember the first time, like you said, that artist did. First time I realized that happened to me with a song was actually like Ushers, like uh if you're feeling your body, like somebody, like the. Oh, yeah, I know. And I knew. Came on, and I, like, just on the radio when I was a kid, and I let, sang the whole song through, and I was like, I didn't even know I knew it. All right, now he goes deeper into his strategy actually in the full interview, and I'll put a link to that in the description below. It will be active after the interview drops. If the link isn't active, that means it's not available yet. And the most important thing that I think there is to discuss when it comes to this video is just the fact that he says he drops content for three weeks straight after dropping a song, video, whatever he's trying to promote. And what's more important is the mentality that goes behind that and understanding that once something is out, you have to keep pushing and pushing to get people's attention, number one, but also it's after the thing is out. This isn't that teaser content or things like that, especially when you're a younger artist or just coming up, not just younger age-wise, but just you're earlier on in your come up. You likely aren't going to get much out of teasing. You don't have enough fans to care or to tease. So you need to rely on post promo because when you promo and you actually have that attention, now people can act on that promo and see the content. If I see that there's something that comes out and it looks like it might have been good, but it's not available yet, I'm probably not going to remember. I'm not going to go save and wait for this comment. I'm not going to write a note in my phone. I'm, I'm not going to be looking out for it. I'm going to forget about it completely. How much energy and how much content are you creating for how long of a period? If he's doing that for his artists like B.O.B. and Trap Beckham, and I think Trap Beckham might be on Def Jam. Don't quote me on that. But they definitely do have resources if he's doing three weeks then how long should you be doing it for? I would love in the comment section below if you guys could 
share a strategy of yours that's helped in your post promo as far as how long it was, if you use influencers or things like that. We don't need all the fine details, just something to start a conversation and maybe allow somebody else to ask. I try to encourage that as much as possible. We'll look to create some kind of forum where you guys can really get deeper in a conversation at some point. For now, stay tuned for that TJ's DJ interview. If you like this video, go ahead and like button. If you like it, might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.